Today's pollinator habitat tip is about the importance of why we need to have bare ground in our pollinator projects. And I'm going to do it standing next to a great pollinator project, but we're going to demonstrate why it's important standing right here in this yard. Today we're sitting in the middle of a native bee nesting colony that's taken up residence here because it's right next to high quality pollinator habitat where it will forage and it had access to a little bit of bare ground in this yard. Did you know that in North America there's about 4,000 species of native bees? The typical one is only going to travel about two to 300 yards from its nest site to where it will forage and that 70% of them nest in the ground. Whether you're managing for a diverse stand of wildflowers or you're trying to enhance species like pheasants, quail, grassland songbirds, or ground nesting bees, it's critically important that we have open areas within our habitat projects. When designing pollinator habitat projects with ground nesting bees in mind, we have to make sure that our habitat project allows for some bare open ground with sunlight on it underneath our vegetation. Designing our habitat projects to think about all pollinators, even those that nest in the ground, that's great habitat. <laughs>